Today we're looking at video accessories. These are what you will need for doing video interviews, video blogging, video podcasts, YouTubing where you are showing people something, TikToking. The first thing you're going to need is a tripod. If you have a DSLR, you're going to need a good tripod. You're going to need one that's in the $40 to $70 range, something that's heavy duty. Otherwise, it's going to droop and fall and hurt your camera. If you have just a cell phone or a GoPro and you have the cell phone to tripod adapter and the GoPro to tripod adapter, uh, one of the $20 tripods will do you. You might also need a selfie stick. A uh, selfie stick is used for either the GoPro or a cell phone, and it's used to carry along with you while you are walking, while you are narrating something. It might be useful. These are not that expensive. They are 10 to $20. If you are going outside and filming things like people on the street, you're walking, you're doing what they call a trucking shot, in which you're walking along with somebody, in which you're walking along with somebody who's skating or somebody who's riding a bicycle, you may need a gimbal. And the gimbals are expensive. Gimbals for cell phones are in the $70 to $150 bracket. They are generally Bluetooth. They generally work with the cell phone. They have rechargeable batteries. You have to buy your gimbal based upon the size of your cell phone and the type of a cell phone. It has to be able to pair and work with the buttons on the unit itself to do things. Otherwise, you will have a stupid gimbal, and all it will do is just give you a straight image. Whereas if you have a gimbal that pairs with your phone, it might actually be able to do things like zoom, keep a better stable image. Uh, of course, cell phones don't come with the gimbal. For that price, it's just the gimbal. For DSLRs, gimbals are a lot more expensive. They start around $250 and go up to $1,000 depending on the weight of your camera and what you want. These are three axis gimbals you want to get at least a three axis gimbal they just hold your camera camera is not included your camera goes into the quarter inch slot gets locked into place and then the gimbal from there on in moves with you as you move and it helps to make a smoother image as you walk lighting is going to be needed for inside most people use ring lights and ring lights come in several sizes they go six inch eight inch 10 inch, 12 inch. Usually they all have multiple colors. They'll go from a yellow light, which is a warm light, to a white light, to a blue light, which is a cool light. Some ring lights swivel on a U-mount. Some ring lights are fixed on a tripod with a quarter inch screw. Some will let you mount your camera in the center of the ring light so that you can keep it in front of you and it lights your face up nicely. And the ring light isn't in the way of the camera and the camera isn't in the way of the ring light. Again, you have to make sure that your camera will fit the mount. Some of these ring lights come with large tripods that go up to 60 inches, and some are just tabletop or desktop. Some have a separate tripod for your cell phone, and some have a side mount that you can use for your cell phone, or you can take the swivel ring light and mount it sideways and put your DSLR on top. These ring lights vary in price from about $15 to about $40, so they're not all that expensive, and they're what most people use. Full lighting box lights or umbrella lights are used to light whole areas or are used to light backgrounds, green screens, blue screens. These lights usually come in kit form, usually a pair with a carry case. They can be either fluorescent which is what they call CFLs, and those require AC power, or they could be LED lights work off of USB power sources, like the kind you plug into the wall for your charging. You plug these into that. Uh, they can also go into your laptop if your laptop provides enough voltage. The LED lights last longer. They are more expensive to replace when you have to replace them, but they last longer. In some cases, they can't be replaced at all. The CFL lights can be replaced with LED lights. You can get the regular light bulb LED lights, or you can get the regular illuminated lights, the kind that have been supposedly discontinued, the kind we used to get, and those will fit in because it works with AC. You can also get clamp lights. These are available at Walmart, Target, 
Amazon, Ace Hardware, Home Depot. They cost between eight and $10 each. You can clamp them on the back of a chair. They take LED lights or CFL lights or regular lights, and you can use these to light the place, and it's a lot cheaper. Your box lights and your umbrella lights, they cost between 60 and $150 for the kits. We're gonna look at green screens. Green screens are used to put different backgrounds on your videos. You sit in front of the green screen. The green screen is behind you. It's lighted with these box lights, these umbrella lights, these clamp lights. It's gotta be lighted uniformly. And then in good editing software, you can put different backgrounds. You can be on the beach in Hawaii. You can be in the jungle. You can be walking across a jungle bridge. It depends on how big of a green screen you've got. You can always throw more fabric on the floor and light it. And you've got a whole big area of green screen. And you can just put anything you want under it. You can look like you're in an alien ship if you've got an alien ship photograph that isn't in copyright to slam into your editing software and replace the green screen. So this is what the green screen is good for. Finally, there are all sorts of GoPro accessories. You can get bands that you can put on your head so that you can go outside walking and the uh, GoPro will photograph what you see. There are also tripods and there are also stick-ons so you can put it place. These will help you make better quality videos. They will help you make stable videos. A tripod or a gimbal will make for a more stable picture. It won't look like it's shaking all over the place. The green screen can be used to give you any kind of a background you want when you're doing your video. You can put uh, bookcases behind you so people can see books. You can put your books, you can put your book covers behind you on the green screen and make them nice and large. You can put examples of what you're trying to show on the green screen behind you while you are talking. If you are doing a YouTubing, if you are doing a first time watching or first time listening, you can use the green screen to put up the image of the movie you're showing while you're in front. Or you can use the green screen to put up your image with the computer there or the TV screen there running the movie. A lot of this, of course, you're gonna to have to experiment with. You're gonna to have to learn how to light it and you're gonna learn how to shoot it properly. But this is all a part of content creation. It's not done one, two, three any more than writing is done one, two, three. So this is our look at accessories for video production, for content creation using video. And remember, you can buy some or all of these products at Ace Hardware, Adorama Camera, Amazon, Best Buy, BH Photo, Home Depot, Lowe's, Sammy's Camera, Target, True Value, Walmart. We're also including a link down in the bottom for companies that do lighting and green screens. If you found this program informative, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Here, I discuss the nuts and bolts of writing and publishing, editing, cover creation, copyrights, picking a self-publisher, making a website, putting books into stores, how to get your manuscript before agents and publishers. And I add new content all the time. So have a good writing day.